Thanks for grabbing me. Cora wanted something, and I was hoping you could humor her. For me. Cora. Cora. So, what's so important that you needed us? Thank you for talking to me. I got something super important. Something's wrong with Mom. You're just figuring this out? No. She's in trouble. It's been too long since she's written me. Wait, you read each other? Focus. We need to find Mom. You believe me, right? Very serious. Listen, trust me, Lillian Hart is not in trouble. She eradicates trouble. That's her thing. This is not normal. I don't even know where she's stationed, Gumdrop. Dad. She's on Neon. I know this is a whopper of a favor to ask, but there will be no end to this until we see Lillian and clear this all up. <sighs> Thanks. You being willing to do this, it means a lot. Bring all your guns and armor and stuff. It's going to get serious. Lillian will be at the Ranger Outpost on Neon. That's Jalen, uh, Price's office. So, if she's out, he should be able to help. It should be easy. Of course, he's Lillian. Everything will be back to normal. Look out for gangs. Actually, the gangs should look out for us. There should be a sign, dump your Aurora here. You make a fortune if you put a net right in. There's nothing in the settled systems quite like Neon. Crazy, terrible, but never dumb. Welcome back. Listen, uh, feel free to use anything. Wait, is that Sam Coe? You have a lot of nerve. Here to yell at Lillian personally? Maybe change things up a little? Listen, this ain't about me. It's about the kid. Oh, uh, I didn't see you, Princess. Sorry. So why are you here then?
I'm sorry. I just can't help you. I'm afraid I cannot disclose that information. You do remember that from your ranger days, Sam? About civilians not being allowed to know sensitive information and all that? It's Cora, right? I just can't say anything. I'm sorry. So, this is official business. Sorry, that's different. I haven't heard from Lillian in some time. I know she was working a case, a big one, and was playing it really close to the best. Feel free to search your desk, maybe there's something there. Sorry, that's all I got. Hey, I'm genuinely happy to help you out. Your friend? Not so much. Listen, I've heard a lot of stories about you. If Lily needs an assist, she couldn't ask for anyone better. So good luck. Hopefully, you won't need it. Fine. Well, it is something. So she had a confidential informant. Huh. An address of Lillian's confidential informant. What's a confidential informant? A snitch. Someone that works for bad people but is helping the authorities on the side. Well, looks like we have a lead. No name, but an address works. Shall we? And the field trip continues. Now be careful, Cora. Dad! I didn't know what to make of you at first. Best neighborhood. Door's locked. Well, yeah, you'd have to be certifiable to leave your door unlocked on Neon. What are you doing? Picking the lock. <laughs> what? Where the hell did you learn to do that? A book. Oh, and Vladimir. Uh, I told you nothing good will come from those books. I can't believe my little Cora is picking locks. Oh, <laughs> okay. So you're gonna give her tips now. Thought I was supposed to be the bad influence here. But seriously, dragging her all over creation? Uh. Maybe Lillian's right. Well, Neon's a rough town. She's waltzing through it like it's nothing. You really think so? I mean, I know you said Constellation's good for her. You really think that, even now? Lock's done. Well, I guess that's our cue. Jesus. Cora. Dad, I've seen worse. He's just dead. Yeah, okay. We'll stay away from this. I mean it, Cora. We'll investigate. If that's the CI, does that mean Mom... Mom's as tough as they come. It does mean that whatever she's involved in, uh, it's not some milk run.
Looks like you found it. A slate. What's it say? Shit. Sioka Syndicate. Some Victor compound, some stuff about fake IDs and cover details. Lillian's doing a deep cover-up on the Syndicate. My thoughts exactly. Cora, listen to me, this is too dangerous. No. The Syndicate is very real and very deadly. There's no way. No, you listen, Dad. I'm not eight anymore. I know I can't shoot or anything. But she's my mom. I can be a pair of eyes. I know things. I will be useful, promise. If mom... And I could have done something about it and didn't... I know that look. Ah, oh, damn it. She's too much of a co to be left behind. Thanks, Dad. All right. Let's go find your mother. Touchdown. Okay, give me a second. I still know some Ranger secure frequencies. This is Ko. Hart, are you there? Please respond. Hart here, acknowledged. And frequency secured. Sam? Sam, what are you doing here? Mom! Oh, you gotta be. Sam, you didn't bring my daughter here, did you? Not the time or place. What's your status? We will be talking about this later. <sighs> Cover is intact for now, but the clock's ticking down fast. Too fast. A distract and extract should do it. Like old times. Great. Just great. And Sam, if even one hair on Cora's head gets hurt... We are 110% on the same page. Comms out. Alright. Well, time for us to make an entrance. You're still in, right? I owe you. Big time. Come, Joe. Take my binoculars from my bag. You're our eyes, okay? You tell us about anything you see. Roger. You move one solitary inch away from that perch, and you will be grounded until you're 30. I am not kidding. 
This is my deadly serious face, yeah? I got it. I got it. I won't move. Good. Whew. Oh, this has to be the most half-baked idea. Okay, let's make it happen. You brought some extra layers, right? Otherwise, you'll make a fantastic icicle. Fun. 
You're the new ranger, right? I see the stories about you weren't exaggerated. Thanks. Looks like I get to play hero for once. I gotta say, your timing is spot on. My cover was hours from being blown to hell. We have a lot to talk about, but let's get to your ship first. I can't wait to put this place behind me.
Oh, thank God, Cora. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fine, Mom. I was so worried about you. I'm fine. You're fine. Everyone's fine. Now it's time for me to kill your dad. No! He tried to keep me away, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Oh, I swear. You two are both stubborn as mules. I need to talk to the captain of the ship. Mom's safe. Thank you, thank you. This is your ship, right? I hate to ask, but I'm gonna need some more assistance with my mission. Are you for real? Weren't you just chewing me out about putting Cora at risk? Thanks, Sam. What if you were spotted? Either here or I assume Neon. It means the Syndicate may come after all of you. The only way to get us to be really safe is to see this through. I think the Sioka have found a way to intercept some of our secure transmissions. We can't trust traditional communication. I have a limited window where the intel I gathered is actionable, so I'm afraid it's just us. That's fair. Just like Lillian. Straight from one fire to the next. That's the job, Sam. You know that. There's a shipment of armaments coming in on a heavy freighter, the Duma. I know it's itinerary, but I don't know where the arms are being stored. If we find the cash, we can lure out a Sayoka underboss, Valerie Mascara. Gladly. So we get the location of the cash from the Duma. Then we make our move. Thank you.
not going to be part of this. To the victor goes the spoils. I said that right, right? I can't stand what you did. It goes against everything Constellation stands for, what I stand for. But the mission has got to come first, so keep it together.
Switching over to standard engines. Got anything you need to offer? Need some work done? Okay, no problem. I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can find... If you have something to say, say it fast. I'd say it's been fun, but I don't feel like lying right now. Excellent. We know where the cache is now. I know the type Valerie uses. It'll be very secure, and if you trip the alarm, it'll send a distress call out. We can count on at least one ship being within range. Maybe two. Valerie has more robots than men, so expect hard targets. <laughs> it's time we deal with Valerie once and for all.
good to go for that. Thank you, thank you. If you fiddle with the cash door, the alarm will go off. So if you want to set up any traps or surprises for the syndicate, do that first. secret door.
We have to deal with the Syndicate before things get out of control. Sam has had a lot to say about you. I can't believe you're fine with bringing my daughter along on all your adventures. And encouraging Sam with all this constellation is great for core nonsense? It's dangerous. Well, I didn't know that. I'll have to talk with her. And maybe Sam, too. So I'm sure Sam's told you all about me. Go on. Ask whatever you want. It's complicated. Oh, so complicated. Cora is the one who reached out to me a couple years ago. We exchanged messages. Then the little scam convinced me to join a book club with her. I mean, books are fine. But the looks I got from my fellow rangers reading Alexander Dumas? <laughs> we do strange things for kids. A confidential informant was supposed to arrange transport off that rock. But I lost contact with him. The syndicate got to him. And it was only a matter of time before they found me out. I owe you for the assist. He did? That's some serious ancient history. Well, we came across what remained of the pirates that attacked him, and the way he flew, fearless, brave, unpredictable. If there were any contraband on his ship, that would be such a waste of talent. Fortunately, any cargo he had was jettisoned in the fight. Understood? Talk later, then. And it's over. I could see why they were eager to recruit you for the Rangers. For now, I swear the bad guys never sleep. We need to talk. I mean, really talk, Lillian. Maybe somewhere private? No, I might need a little... Damn it, emotional support, all right? Thank you. If you want to fight in front of your friend, I'm ready. I know you don't approve of Cora being with me. Don't you see why? If you keep this up, she could get hurt or killed or worse. Yeah, but she hasn't. She's been safe. I've been keeping her that way her whole life. And she's not a little girl anymore. She helps keep me alive, too. Hey, back me up here. See? Doesn't that make you feel better? It actually does. I don't agree. I don't think I ever will. But I'll make my peace with it. All right? Listen, all this, this... It has to stop. Like, every time we talk, it makes me want to punch a wall. I don't want to be mad at you. I really don't. Lillian... I don't know if what we had was ever... Love. But we used to like each other. We need to get back to at, at least being civil. For Cora's sake. It's hard, but you're right. Isn't this good, Lillian? Yeah, it actually is. If we were going to be really honest here, Sam. Cora and you, we were always together, back when we were a team. Cora would follow you everywhere, like a little adoring dog. I just felt out of it, long before we separated. Lillian, I, um... Uh... No, no, Sam. I need to get this out. But it's not fair that I take that out on you. Um, sorry, all right? Thank you. I know. It's, it's my fault, too. Truce? 
truce. But I need something, Sam. I need to see my daughter more. These messages just hurt. They're such a tease. And she misses you. But Lillian, the last three times we planned something, you bailed twice. Twice. Every time you do that, it destroys Cora. And I'm the one that has to deal with it. Maybe we should take it slowly. Try and work up to some visits. That's fair. And Lillian, you know I care for you, right? But you and me? I know. We were over before we even began. Look, it's none of my business, I know, but... You need to put yourself out there. I mean, there's bound to be someone. Hell, lots of someones. That would be thrilled for the complete Lillian Hart badass ranger package. Actually, I know a certain person on Neon. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm just saying. There are people that would do right by you. There's more to life than rangering. I'll, I'll think about it. Oh my, you're... you're terrible. <laughs> oh, that was priceless. Now it's my turn. Sam, you... you're a good dad. I know I don't say it enough, but you are. But there is more to life than being Cora's father. So same advice to you. Find someone. Maybe you already have. Well, aren't you just loving the turnabout and fair play nonsense? See you around, Sam. Right now may not be the best time to talk to me. So you see why I like her? I mean, we were never a good fit. But Lillian's good people. Well, maybe not the best. I think rather highly of myself. And uh, a few others. <laughs> I, mean, I got a lot to think about. You know, for the first time in ages, I feel good. <laughs> really good. So listen, in Aquila City, there's an old haunt of mine. On a balcony near a good old statue of Solomon Co. I want to show you and have our own real talk, okay? And maybe figure out a way to repay it. are sometimes spotted by the farms. Russia's doing well for herself. Laredo is a big player in arms manufacture. Hey, thanks for coming here with me. You know, I used to truly hate this place. When I was a kid, I'd throw stones at that statue. Just beamed him over and over. <laughs> Almost got arrested for it once. I prefer to call myself spirited. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the post-mission glow. <laughs> I, uh, I miss the old guy. Maybe even Aquila City. A little. 
With all that's gone on, with what we've been through, I finally feel <laughs> at peace. What happened with Lillian at the end, not pretty. But we finally know where we stand. Yeah, and without your support, I don't think I ever would have done it. Man, there's so much. But you know, behind every lucky star that's come my way lately, I see, uh... You. I've talked with you about things no one, and I mean no one, else knows. Well, your words have been a great comfort. You know, you live long enough, and you can just get covered in garbage. From the mistakes, the betrayals, the misfortune. Makes it easy to lose sight of the things you should be thankful for. Yeah, that's all you did. Right. When we met, originally, and I heard you wanted to travel together, I didn't know what to think. It seemed you waltzed into Constellation so quickly and easily. I thought maybe you were like Walter's bastard kid or ward or something. But, uh, you know, you're pretty amazing. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I just said that. Well, can't argue with that. I just want you to know, come thick or thin, hell or high water, I'm there for you. Every time. So let's go, partner. Thank <laughs> you.